When I look at the great things that humankind was able to construct, like the Great Wall of China, the Pyramids, and even the Colossus of Rhodes, I ask myself, if the seven wonders of the world didn't exist, then what would be the new wonders of the world? So I confounded the seven next best things that humans were able to make in the ancient world. Before we start, it will be in a list of what I found to be the most impressive and astonishing. And here is a list of the old seven wonders of the world. Now let's go. Wonder number one. Goble Tepe. Archaeologists uncovered this great monument during 1994, and they believe that it was constructed around 9,600 BCE to 7,300 BCE. It's believed to have been a religious site, possibly a temple or a ceremonial center. But what makes Goble Tepe so remarkable is that it challenges previously held beliefs about the development of civilization. We used to believe it was around this time that humans were still brainless morons that barely knew that they had thumbs. But in truth, it is us that are the brainless morons for underestimating their advanced architecture and intricate carvings that indicate a sophisticated society much earlier than previously thought. Wonder number two, Persepolis. Remember, I, I, I'm not that good at reading, okay? Built around 518 BCE, it is believed that the Persepolis served as the ceremonial capital of the, of, of the empire and was primarily used for royal gatherings and celebrations. I didn't even know that the whatever empire was a thing, but its impressive palaces, reliefs, and architectural design showcased the artistry and grandeur of the ancient Persian civilization. And it doesn't look anything like it used to, or what it is believed to look like. Wonder number three, Chichen Itza. The major structure was built pretty recently between 600 CE and 1200 CE, being younger than the Oxford University. It was a prominent Mayan city serving as a political and economic center with religious significance. But what makes it so notable is its use for advanced astronomical and architectural knowledge of the Mayans. And just like my iPhone, it had a built-in calendar, so you could technically say that the iPhone was built during 600 CE. Wonder number four, the great temple of Ramses II, also known as Abu Simbel, was constructed around 1264 through 1244 BCE. It was obviously used to honor Pharaoh Ramses II and the gods Amun, Rahorita, and Ptah. I said those names right, don't judge me. It's like they had a Kanye in ancient times, making himself equal to the gods. Its colossal statues and intricate carvings depict the power and grandeur of the ancient Egyptian civilization. And on top of that, it was carved in a hill. I barely have the patience to do that in Minecraft with an efficiency five netherite pickaxe. Wonder number five. The Pyramid of the Sun. Being built around 100 CE and 200 CE, it was part of the ancient city of Tiho Hio Khan. I don't think I said that right, but I think it's funnier if I fail. Anyway, it might have had religious, ceremonial, or symbolic significance. It's the third largest pyramid in the world, and represents the advanced engineering skills of the ancient Mesoamerican civilization. And you might be wondering, <laughs> wondering, why did you pick the third biggest pyramid when you could have picked the second biggest pyramid? That's because the second biggest pyramid is the Pyramid of Giza, which is already a wonder of the world, and the biggest one is the Great Pyramid of Chile which seems to be mostly underground, and I couldn't get any good pictures of it, so don't get on me, scrubs. Wonder number six, Bora Budur. I think I said that right. Constructed between the 8th and 9th centuries CE, Bora Budur is the world's largest Buddhist temple, and it was renowned for its intricate stone carvings and unique architectural design, and was used as a Buddhist temple complex and pilgrimage site but I put it at the number two spot because of how beautiful it is and the intricate designs it holds, and it will never truly be replicated. Wonder number seven, the final one, Angkor Wat. I personally believe that if one of the seven wonders of the world never existed, then this would replace it. Being constructed in the 12th century CE, it was originally a Hindu temple dedicated to Vishnu, later becoming a Buddhist site. What makes it so amazing is the fact that it is the largest religious monument globally with stunning bas reliefs and impressive architectural elements. Like look at it, it's amazing. 
And that does it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and feel free to comment down your own 7 Wonders of the World. And I'll see you in another episode.